look at the state of me right now. Granted, this isn't the most professional setup and I'm not the most professional looking person. I have literally not done my hair or my face or anything since the getting out of bed. Um, so yeah, welcome to a real life get ready with me. I am going to be doing my hair, my makeup, chatting, 2020 goals, everything like that today. Um, yeah, let's zoom in a bit because we are focusing on makeup today. So, first things first, where's my moisturiser? So, first things first, let's wipe the spot cream off my face. I had a reaction to a face wash I tried out. My, my skin is really sensitive, so I probably shouldn't even be using these wipes on my face, but oh well. And when my skin reacts, I get like red blotches around like this area and under my eyes and then my skin can break out as well which is what's happened so yeah my skin's been really good and of course when i wanted to film this video i had a reaction so hair we will get onto in a bit i'm literally obsessed with bedhead stuff like i got sent some bits from tg and then i went and just bought some bits myself because i love it so much this is just a straightening serum and i'm also going to put on an anti-frizz and then we get back to my hair after we've done the makeup i always do my makeup before my hair i don't know why so good morning guys we're going to be doing our get ready with me today we're going to be like i said talking over all things 2020 my goals maybe we can talk through a little bit of 2019 i did have some questions on instagram that i did answer but i did save some to talk through maybe as a few subjects on here of course my questions were all about the wedding baby pregnancy always the same so yeah we'll just get through whatever we get through but a lot of questions i've recently had are on my makeup my everyday makeup and how i curl my hair so this video is going to feature both of them and we're just going to get ready together um and yeah so for christmas i actually got if you saw my last vlog i did a what i got for christmas in that i got a load of charlotte tilbury makeup and I've been loving the Magic Cream. I only use this though when I'm putting on makeup. If, it, if I'm just using like a moisturiser, I'll just use another one. Just because this is pretty pricey. I don't want to be... I just want to use it quite sparingly. Definitely put it on my lips because my lips are so dry at the moment. Um, but I love the Magic Cream so much. But currently my skin, like I said, has had a reaction. And also I've got fresh fake tan on. So that's why my face and my hands, my neck is just a completely different colour. Um yeah so when my skin has been so good and then i had a reaction it's kind of caused my skin to be all like i don't know if you're even going to be able to see but it's gone all like bumpy which is not fun but yeah i love the magic cream it's so nice on the skin and then i also go in with the brightening youth glow which is also from charlotte tilbury and it says anti-aging color correcting and a glow booster which just adds to the youthfulness and yeah so that just adds again just an extra boost of glowiness to the skin which i really like if i wasn't wearing any makeup and i was going on holiday or whatever this is just perfect just to throw on every day just to make your skin look a bit more awake so foundation wise i've been mixing two together just because of the colors so this is the burt's bee foundation which is the goodness glows liquid makeup and yeah it just looks like this if it's going to focus and then i also use the ordinary foundation and this is the serum foundation so i mix these two together because as you can see one's more red and one's more like olive this one's a little bit light on its own so i have to mix it with this one this ordinary foundation is in the shade 3y medium dark yellow undertones and then this one's in the shade soft honey and i got them both from look fantastic i love look fantastic so much they are my go-to for like products i got all my bedhead stuff that i didn't get sent from look fantastic as well they are literally just so good so what's up guys how's things going this is probably well it's not my first sit down video because i've done my o poly video but this is the first time i'm like properly talking to you guys in 2020 i want to know how everyone's is going so far i feel like i haven't had the greatest start to 2020 it hasn't been bad but it hasn't gone as good as i would hope I have been getting back into the gym which is really nice and I've been eating a lot healthier which I love doing I love like keeping track of everything like that um but yeah the first few days I oh I was really sick on New Year's Eve I got a bug which was not fun I was vomiting in the sink whilst I was sat on the toilet like it was awful and then 
Connor got it. Connor's got it at the moment. So, yeah, we've just kind of been a bit of a run-down household, to be honest. Um, but we're both getting better now. I'm feeling a lot better. I feel pretty much back to normal. I do have a bit of a dodgy, like, tummy ache. Um, but other than that, I'm fine. Connor's still not 100%. He's had to have a few days off work, which is actually quite nice. But yeah, so basically we've both been ill, but we are getting back on the gym and things like that because obviously we get married next year, which is so crazy to say. Like, I get married next year. That is mad. We both have our hen do's and stag do's this year, which again is just crazy. Um, but yeah, that's all I've kind of really got to update on, I think. Any big news? Probably not. We're actually going up to Norwich next week to see Aisha and Zelia, which will be really fun. I love them so much, you guys know that, and I can't wait to see them. And we haven't seen their new house yet, so we're going to go up and stay with them for a few days. And we're also um, staying in an Airbnb, so we've got a nice week or so off together, because last year we obviously didn't get to go on holiday together. I mean, we went to Thailand and Vietnam, which is just crazy that we were able to do that, but that was like a family holiday, so we never really got... Um, a holiday to ourselves and a holiday we're going to stay in Cambridge for a weekend but um yeah that would be quite nice just to have I love being in a different area and like traveling up just the concept of being away is fun so yeah we've got an Airbnb it's got like a hot tub and stuff so it'd be really nice and yeah like I said we're gonna go see Aisha and Zelia too but we're also gonna go see our wedding venue which is very exciting I live on the Isle of Wight, if you guys don't know. First of all, we were originally planning to get married abroad, but then obviously, realistically, I wouldn't be able to have some of my family and friends come because A, they might not be able to afford it, or B, they actually physically couldn't go. Um, I'd like my grandparents to be there and Connor's grandparents, and they might not have been able to come. So yeah, it would just be easier to get married in the UK. Um, and if you don't know, I live on the Isle of Wight. So there is a few nice re wedding venues on the island, but they're just kind of all like samey samey, if that makes sense. Like everyone just gets married there because there's a select few. So we broadened our horizons and we were looking at like Devon and stuff, west, southwest sort of area. Um, and I think we found what somewhere, hopefully. We're going to go look at the venue on Saturday the 18th which would be really fun. I can vlog it all if you want, guys. I'll vlog that. That's really fun to vlog, actually. But that doesn't really matter, to be honest. I do actually want to just put on a little bit more under my eyes. I kind of just use... I don't really use concealer. I just use my foundation just to put under my eyes. But yeah, I didn't really do anything for New Year's. Like I said, I was very poorly. Um, so, yeah. We literally had a Chinese, and within, I'd say, half an hour this bug like just suddenly came on it couldn't have been food poisoning because me and connor ate the same thing and he didn't have it um and then i had loads of people message me saying that there's this like bug going around and then obviously now connor's got it so it was definitely definitely a bug it was horrible isn't it weird how that kind of like happens like there's actually things that go round. i just hope well no i haven't got it so that's good so I'd love to know all your guys' goals and stuff for 2020. I have got some goals. I don't know if I want to say them because I kind of just want to practice them in private and then maybe come back to you if I achieve them. I don't know. We'll see. I will probably go through a few of them with you guys. But I'm not going to move on to powder. And I just use this Barry M one. It's a banana powder and I love it. I was using my Laura... No, I was using my number 7 powder, which I love as well. But this one's cheaper. <laughs> It's literally like £4 I think. And it's so good. What else has been going on? I finished watching You. I actually really enjoyed it. Sometimes the second series of things is not as good. But I feel like this one is actually really really good. And I'm excited because there is another series coming I believe. What did you guys think? Have you guys seen it? I'm sure you have. Me and Connor got new bottles because we're trying to drink two of these at least a day. So I feel like this is a... Um, Normally, every single like New Year, that's, this is my goal. It's just like to get fitter and get healthier, lose some weight. Last year, it wasn't my goal because obviously I was pregnant. To be honest, my goal last year was to put on some weight because I was so poorly from morning sickness. Um, but yeah, I've got a holiday in April. Well, hopefully, I've got a holiday in April to Dubai. Um, there's a lot going on at the minute, so God knows what's happening with that. Hoping it will just all die down I don't really yeah it's a bit scary all of that 
so yeah i kind of want to get fit for that that's in obviously april so that's four months and from may i kind of want to start looking for wedding dresses i feel like when i i looked for advice i reached out for advice and everyone said at least 12 months to start looking for dresses and stuff which is just crazy and it actually turns out I think every single venue we message, bar the one that we like, actually the one that we like, we even had to change our date a little bit. The date we wanted for 2021 was already booked up. Like, people are booked and busy and ready for their wedding. Like, if you're planning a wedding, I advise getting booked on it ASAP. Even if, like, it's not for a couple of years, just get the venue booked because they get booked out so quickly. I think it's because the weekend we chose is obviously in May and we're planning the bank holiday weekend so that's why probably but yeah this is just crazy like how mad is that I'm getting married still can't believe it I even just wake up in the morning and like even yesterday we were lying in bed and me and Connor just like I can't believe that's our baby like that's our kid how crazy that we've been together for well six years this year it's just been the two of us and now that is our baby it's so crazy like you literally just forget the longevity of pregnancy and how you felt during that it just feels like it never happened and he's just suddenly here and it's just madness but i literally i'm obsessed i'm just obsessed with my life at the moment i'm so happy i did put on my instagram the other day that i was having a bit of a down moment like i said i don't think i had the best start to 2020 um, I just put a lot of pressure on myself. Anyway, like I said, I was having a few down days. And I do, I feel like I get more down days now. I feel like this kind of... I don't know, I think I'm just a lot more sensitive these days. And obviously it's just hormones and things like that. Um, I'm just very sensitive. But I'm, I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling a bit more positive And I know where, I know what I want to do. I've got a lot... I think the thing that stresses me out is I've got a lot of things happening all at once if that makes sense like I need I'm planning a wedding I'm getting married next year I've got a hen do I want to buy a house like it's just a lot and yeah I'm only 21 so this is just madness I do feel like I feel I feel older than 21 and I don't feel like age should define how you feel anyway I don't know why I'm putting so much bronzer on I'm looking in the viewfinder and thinking I still look really pale this by the way is the MAC give me sun bronzer I love this it looks so natural on the skin I just got an email from the venue this venue by the way guys is so beautiful I can't wait to see it I hope it's everything that we want and more when we go see it fingers crossed so next up we have blusher and I use the Charlotte Tilbury chic no cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in the shade ecstasy oh trippy just looks like this and i just brush this on my cheeks over my nose i always put blusher on my nose just like that and i also dust some on my forehead and my chin god knows why i just do oh i've just been talking to myself because i don't know how long for but it wasn't actually filming. I was just saying, how unreal does Ellie look? She's literally the sweetest, nicest angel ever. And she deserves every inch of happiness that she gets. She is so lovely. Anyway, that reminds me, because I'm just looking at her lips and her lips look insane in this. I'm getting my lips topped up tomorrow and I'm so excited. I've had, I get questions a lot about my lips, so I get them done at the Contour Club, which is in like Haven area, so if you're like Portsmouth, Winchester, Southampton sort of area, it's kind of near there. She's amazing, I highly, highly recommend. I've only had 1.5mm in my lips, and I'm getting the rest of the 0.5 tomorrow, I think. I'm not 100% sure, I will update you tomorrow. I'll bring you along with me, and then I'm getting my hair dyed on friday because it's looking a little bit worse for wear my roots have grown out a bit and i'm getting a brazilian blow dry because if you don't know my hair is naturally quite curly so i'm excited i've never had this done before i've always wanted to get my hair chemically straightened or whatever it's called um but i've never done it i've never really like found or i've never really looked into it to be honest but my hairdresser, I was speaking to my hairdresser about it the other day, who is insane by the way. So I've also been getting lots of questions about what I ask for when I get my hair done. 
So I said to her yesterday, I said, also, will it be okay if I get my colour details on Friday? Because I get lots of questions. And her response was, yes, of course, it's a bit of a cocktail that I make, though. So I can't give you, like, a specific thing, but I'll give my best. If you stay tuned for that vlog, because I have been vlogging this week, um, it'll all, I'll try and update you as much as possible. And I will let you know how my Brazilian blow dry gets on. So that is basically, like I said, getting your hair chemically straightened. Um, so I'm quite excited for that because it might just make my life a bit easier. I don't know how long it will last. But I'm just willing to give anything a go at this point. Because why not, you know? Right, I kind of just don't really fill in my eyebrows, barely ever. I literally just tend to brush them up so they're a bit more fluffy. But I need to redo them and I've got a few gaps. So I'm just going to lightly fill them in. This brow pencil I'm pretty sure I got in either my Glossy Box calendar or I actually got it in my Glossy Box. But it's by the brand Winky Lux Unibrow. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to draw on a unibrow but I'm really tempted to get my brows laminated. What do you guys think? I see some that look so good and then I see others that look absolutely horrendous um so I'm kind of torn I think because I have I, th I feel like it works better for people with thinner eyebrows my eyebrows are pretty thick so I think it would look quite weird and just too much but Sid and Elle got theirs done and they look amazing Ellie got hers done and hers look amazing so I don't know and then I kind of just brush them up just to make them fluffy. Now I move on to mascara and I just use my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara. I actually have a better mascara. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'll use that one instead. I do like this mascara but I don't like how wet it is. Obviously it's a new mascara so it's quite like easy to mess up. I actually feel like I spoke about this in a vlog a couple of weeks ago but this is the Iconista Volume Mascara from Catrice Cosmetics. I've never heard of them, but it is so good. Let me put it on. The brush is like this. You can see. Can you see? Look how long they make your lashes. And just tap over my lips. I like to take this, which was in my Glossy Box calendar, and it's the... See, Glossy Box is such a good idea because so much of my products I use are from, like, that kind of stuff. So this is the Nude by Nature Highlighting Stick in the shade Champagne. Zero one champagne. I just get, like to get a bit on my finger and just tap it into my skin. Just to make it look like a natural glow. I prefer to use like cream products these days rather than powder. Just because I like my skin to look a lot more natural and glowy. And then for lips, I've been using my MAC Oak Lip Liner. Just to overdraw them. I still overdraw my lips. This is why I want to like finish my filler until I'm happy with them. Just been using, it depends if I want a matte or a glossy lip. I think I might go, oh, let's do the matte and then I will show you the gloss as well. So I have literally just been using this iconic cheek um, stain sort of thing, sheer blush in the shade Fresh Faced and just rubbing it onto my lips. And that is literally what I've been doing with my lips. And you, I do also take a darker lip liner. But I then like properly outline them with the lip liner by Rimmel in the shade. I, I'm pretty sure it's all rubbed off, but I'm pretty sure it's cappuccino. But if I was going to use lip gloss, I love the iconic lip gloss. I can't remember what shade I use. This is it. This is the lip gloss in the shade nearly nude i love this i did an ad on this um a few weeks ago well, actually it's like maybe even a couple of months ago and i love it so much why can't i open it and then i've also been loving this lip gloss from charlotte tilbury which is just the peachy plump lip gloss and yeah so let me just like straighten it through because unfortunately for me i don't have nice straight hair where i can just straight away curl it i have to kind of like straighten it through first and then i'll get back to you and i'll show you how i curl my hair so hair is all straightened through i'm now going to move on to putting my hair extensions in so the hair extensions i use are from foxy locks 
and they're in the shade Sunkist. That's the shade of them. And they're clip-in extensions. I have 18 inch and I believe they are 180 grams. So I've used Foxy Locks clip-in hair extensions for years, literally so long. So I know they're really, really good. I always start off with the five weft and put that on the like the most widest part of my head, so literally like just above my ears, I put this one. And then I just go around and put them all in. And I, I tend to curl them whilst they're in my hair, just so it all blends together better. My hair extensions are already a little bit wavy from last time. So yeah, as you can see. But I just like to put these all around my head. Obviously you don't need to put them all in, but my hair is pretty thick on its own. So I kind of do put them all in and that's what looks the most like natural. So then I'll do the same on the other side, the two and the one. Now this is the hair curler I use. I got this a few years ago for Christmas. It's Parwin Beauty and I use this size wand. So obviously whatever curler you have, I use this size. So it's quite thin, um, but this really works when I brush them out. Because that's what I always do, I always brush my curls out just spritz through my heat protector spritz through the shine spray put the anti-frizz on and then I use this at the end as well but I just use this throughout as well which is the after party smoothing cream for silky smooth hair now this stuff is the key these two are what you need for silky smooth waves so what i like to do is obviously just brush through that and then just take a section of hair i'm obviously not going to talk way too in depth about this because like i said you guys probably know how to curl and then i just curl through my hair literally just as simple as that and I hold it on for about five to ten seconds depending how thick the piece of hair is and then it waves like that perfect and yeah I just go through all my hair I suppose until it's all covered and then I will come back to you oh at the end once it's all done and then we'll brush through and finish my waves off so just like that right so hair is all curled just gone round like i showed you i haven't brushed it out i haven't done anything literally just curled it oh there's a bit here that i haven't curled so if i see any bits that i haven't curled properly i literally will just take the curler and just go round and just top it up but yeah it doesn't really really matter too much i don't really like to be too precise 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 with it christ i still can't say it so i then will go through with my after party and just run it through my hair just to make it easier to brush through it is a little bit knotty from where i've been waving it and then i take the Head rush shine spray and then I just go through and brush it and that is literally how I curl my hair so yeah just like that and then obviously it gets a bit fluffy so I just like to go back in with the serum again and just smooth out so there's finally a tutorial on them finish with the shine spray it's also good to finish with these get twisted anti-frizz finishing spray this just holds in curls i kind of just like to squeeze it together again this is from bedhead fight the frizz and keep the curls in check with this super spray so i just like to finish with that as well and that is how i do my everyday makeup and how i get my waves I'm literally obsessed with this hair. 
so it really is just as simple as that thank you so much for watching this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it i know it's probably a bit of a long one a chatty one but i kind of just want to finish on the note with one more 2020 goal which is quite an important one to me because i'm quite i hold myself back quite a lot like I don't know I would never ask someone for something if that makes sense like I will not be the one whether that's like business to make a first move I just I don't know I feel like it's weird like I would rather have someone ask me rather than me ask them like I, I don't come to people with proposals so my 2020 goal is to be a bit more selfish make things happen for myself like things aren't just going to fall at my feet and that is what I need to learn. I need to learn that I need to get out there. I need to put myself out there. I need to make the first move sometimes. Like, it sounds like I'm talking about getting a new boyfriend. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just meaning like, whether that be career, just be more headstrong and focus on things and put myself first, make things happen for myself. Because like I said, they're not gonna fall at my feet and I wanna create opportunities for myself and be like, wow, I was the one that made that happen. So that is, a goal for 2020 but yeah I just I just want to focus on being the best version of myself this year and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for sitting down and listening to me chat if you made it to the end of the video then I really really appreciate it if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram and I use Twitter sometimes I'm not really that active on Twitter um, but yeah I'll leave that all in the description box and I will hopefully see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye.